Do you want me to introduce us? <laughs> no, I always do. Oh. talk too much. <laughs> oh! Messy. Welcome to the No Name, No Shame podcast. It's the rudest of all rude boys here, Terrell, the top shotter, and I'm here with... <laughs> I mean, you can call me Knowledge if you feel comfortable with that name. Um, Patrice. <laughs> see that anywhere but that brings us into what today's topic is today's topic is about branding yourself and just like how i talked about top shot of terrell aka knowledge we have (laughs) (laughs) stupid patrice i think we kind of talked about branding before did we well we're doing it again so y'all i did not pick the topic this is actually a surprise topic for me terrell did not tell me we were talking about branding she was supposed to pick the topic today. She didn't. But anyway, so today we're I talking d- about <laughs> branding yourself. So this is very important when you're starting a business or social media. You want to have your brand and you want it to have it clearly defined. So one of the things with the brand, and we can see using Patrice as an example, she has kind of like a clean thing to her. <laughs> like... <laughs> I guess she's like Disney friendly and she's very knowledgeable about uh, crafts. So, you know, one of the things when you're starting your social media or your business, you want to figure out what your personal brand is and how you're going to brand yourself. Mm -hmm. Um, So, Patrice, I'm still like formulating my brand. We don't know if I'm Street Life Terrell or whatever, but what tips or what did you do to formulate your brand? Because now... You're kind of well known, and guys, do you know people like see her in the street sometimes and call out her name? It's kind of weird. <laughs> uh, so this is the situation. Um, what I first wanted to to kind of understand was my audience. Like, who is my audience? Who do I want to appeal to? And so, being that you know, I teach. And also craft, I kind of, even though, you know, they're two separate parts of my world, but teaching still sometimes takes a little bit of precedence over a lot of other things that I do because, of course, I don't want to be out here on in these YouTube streets being reckless and then some of my students find me because I have had a student find me. One of my students find me and then they're (laughs) like, you know, Oh, look at Miss Wilson, and it's not really what I want to portray to students. So I kind of like still like think about that. But honestly, like my brand and what I do, this is really just who I am. You know, in real life, like most people, like she's I, a bore. Yeah, yeah. And in real life, like I just, you know, I'm the same as I am on on YouTube as I am in real life. But you want to know your audience, and so I know that I'm going to be crafting, teaching, and crafting with crafting. You know, usually you're getting people maybe stay-at-home moms or, you know, people looking for different jobs and things like that. And so I just want to cater to, like, those demographics. So I think, like, if you're out there and you're trying to brand yourself or your business, you should have a vision of how you want people to perceive you Mm -hmm. and work on it. But it also needs to be authentic, like... I can't go out there and talk about Gucci and this and that, Louis V. I don't wear that stuff. That's not even in how how I am. So I think, you know, you don't want to fake who Mm -hmm. you are. You want to have a clear vision and you want it to be authentic. So I guess people believe it, but they know that's you. Yeah. So the next thing about, you know, creating, I forgot what I was saying. (laughs) So, <laughs> so the the next thing about branding yourself is creating a presence. And right now, in this day and age, it's not like 96 when Patrice was 35. <laughs> um, <laughs> we have a lot of tools. There's TikTok. There's Instagram. There's YouTube. Um, what else is there? There's Black Panic from back in the day. You have Twitch. Twitch. Snapchat. Snapchat. Did you say Facebook? I said Black Planet. <laughs> but you just have so many different there's so many different avenues of MySpace. you like getting yourself out there in MySpace and just 
knowing that whatever you put out there, and that's one thing, like, I, I, I try to even tell my students, too, whatever you put out there on the internet, like, it's really there to stay. It can be found. There's no such thing as deleting whatever it is that you put out there. And so do I really want in future years for my kids or my, my daughter's kids to look back and be like, that was my grandma? She was, you know... That was her out there living like that. Like I don't really <laughs> won't necessarily want that. Not saying that it's a bad thing, like because everybody has their own, you know, makeup. But that's just me personally. So that's kind of why I look. I, I I brand the way I do. So <laughs> that, that's true. But when you establish your presence online, and you know you have people supporting you, it usually starts with your friends and family. They'll help push you in the right direction or your brand. Like, I know I've talked to various people, and I said, I'm said i telling them, like, hey, I'm starting a clothing company with Patrice. And a lot of people's like, oh, as soon as when you get it up, you let me know. I want to buy something to help support what you're trying to do. So mm -hmm. use everything that you have to help build your presence, be it your Facebook, your LinkedIn, Twitter, um, your WhatsApp, group chats, whatever. Because everything can help you grow and, you know, make sure you tell the people that support you to share your stuff so you can start, you know, generating a bigger following. And what, what I think, too, what you said, too, that's that's very important that we kind of overlook, too, is like the, that face to face type of branding as opposed to us branding on social media. Like you said, you have family and friends who you're saying, listen, I'm about to start something. I'm st about to start a business. And they're willing to say before they even see what it is or know what it is, they're willing to invest in what it is that you're Patrice, doing. Patrice, before you continue, the next thing I wanted to talk about was networking. Go ahead. Because that's what you're talking about. Yeah, but I'm that too. But I'm just saying how you have already set up your brand before you even really realized that you were branding with your peeps, mm -hmm. right? And so now they're willing to do that. But that also kind of leads into networking and you building your brand through networking too. So I'm going to say this. We try to network online. But what Patrice was saying, that in-person networking mm – -hmm. It really means a lot. So you can meet somebody just randomly and start talking about what you're doing. And if they see that you're passionate about it, you don't know what type of links they have, how they can help you. So, you know, you can really get a lot of help from people and get your brand out there. And you never know who knows who, how they can help you. Mm -hmm. And, you know, networking is good, going to networking events. Uh, just constantly, I wouldn't say constantly talking about what you're doing, but... Letting people well, know. And getting linked up with people, you know, people who are similar to you. Um, you can, you know, get ideas from them, give them ideas, hopefully. But link up with people who like to do similar things as you. And also those that don't like to do similar things as you. Like you guys may have different routes, but sometimes everything kind of leads. You never know when your, your presence is needed in another area. So... Our next thing about branding yourself, be constant, be clear, and be consistent. So that means, you know, consistently putting out videos if you're doing YouTube, like me and Patrice, being constant, um, and being clear about your message. So I'm going to give you guys an example. If you look on our channel, our lowest performing video was one with me giving a tour of our podcast room. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you know, the people on our channel, they might care a little bit, but not so much. So I haven't really made any more audio-based uh, content for this channel, which I'm planning to do for another channel. But I realized that the audience really isn't interested in it, mm -hmm. so I'm not going to do it anymore. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, be constant, be consistent. Me and Patrice try to stick to a schedule of two to three videos a week. Which is a lot. And then especially with Patrice. <laughs> what was I, that? I said, it's a lot. <laughs> especially with Patrice, she does her lives. She has, I don't know how many videos she she puts okay. out a week. I try to do at least two videos a week. Um, and then I'm always recording something. And, you know, this is outside of our personal lives. So, yeah. But you do want to stay consistent. Um 
I see a lot of different um, articles relating to how to grow on social media, whether it is TikTok or Instagram. And it says that you need to post at least two to three times. I think they say like a day. And so those are like you, it's, it's about being consistent, Definitely, if you want to see success, you want to make sure that you're, you want to be constant. You want to make sure that the, whatever it is that you're putting out there, it's relatable to your brand and it's meaningful to whoever it is that you're trying to get in, in connection with. This isn't just for social media, though, either. It's also for when you have your business and, you know, if you have a business, these are also key factors in, in making sure that your business is successful, whether it's online or not. Okay. <laughs> Branding. Yeah. So our our last thing um, about branding yourself is get feedback. See what other people think. Not only the people you know, but let's say in crafting, other crafters, other people in that field. Because let's say Patrice comes and asks me for feedback on crafting. I know a little bit about it, but I can't give her the depth of knowledge uh, some, like another crafter could give her or one of her YouTube friends. I agree. So like um, with my videos, like I would ask Terrell, not really about crafting, but I would ask him about um, like the video. Like, what do you think of the video? Not really the content per se, because at that time he could care less because y'all know he's not a crafter. <laughs> but he would I would tell him, like, go watch. it. I would have to send it and watch. And sometimes he'd be like, oh, my God, I could not make it past the first minute or yeah, after 10 seconds I was done. Like I couldn't do it. Or he'll say, Oh girl, your lighting is horrible. You need to work on that. Or you need to get mics or you need to get this or that. And so why I would ask him, if you guys have not really, um, if you can't tell by now, Terrell is very or brutally honest with his friends, people that he usually like really vibe with if he don't care about you he'll probably just give you some fluff stuff but if he really does look at you as a friend he is going to be brutally honest with you and so that is why I ask him because I have enough people telling me oh no it's great no you're awesome it's it's perfect it's good the way that it is and then you know I need somebody who is going to tell me the truth because I don't like he doesn't care about like if he's going to well, he knows that I have thick skin, so it doesn't really bother me. So I think he's even more honest with me. And so because of that, I have made changes and I see the improvement in like a lot of my video production because of feedback from him. And so feedback is important um, to move forward. And so for crafting, if I'm crafting something, y'all could ask her, I'm probably calling Josephine the best uni almost every night after a live when I have a live because I'm like, what'd you think about it? Girl, was I a hot mess? Or like, should I do something? Should I do something different? And sometimes she's very, always super, super sweet about it. And she'll be like, no, 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 it was amazing. You did good. She said, but why don't you try like the way she, her approach is like, why don't you try to do it like this? Or do you think this would work? Or, you know, so it's, it's, it's different, but you definitely want feedback. You and you can't be afraid of feedback. And I always say, if everybody around you is telling you only good things, then you're around the wrong crowd. If everybody is telling you, oh, my God, that's perfect, that's amazing, that, yeah, no, that's good, then you're around the wrong crowd. Because somebody in that crowd should be able to tell you, uh, and without you getting offended, they should be able to tell you, no, mm -mm, that was not it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I have one last tip. Hurry up, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you made me forget what my last tip was. <laughs> I didn't make you forget it. Okay, so I have one last tip before we finish up the video. Remember, you know, when you're branding yourself, and it's unfortunate to say this, right now branding yourself, getting yourself out there, there has to be some entertainment in there, or you have to be given some somebody some knowledge and even we learn this as you know teachers when you're trying to teach something you have to make it interesting you can be very very knowledgeable at a subject but if you do not make it interesting people aren't going to watch you mm -hmm. so re remember that when you're putting out content and things like that at the end of the day tiktok uh, instagram youtube twitter they're forms of entertainment mm -hmm. that's the number one thing they are secondary, you know, is to teach you something. 
to distribute knowledge. So keep that in mind whenever you start creating. And just remember, when you're branding yourself, you're not going to start off perfect. Mm -hmm. You're going to build. You're going to keep building up and up and up. Yeah, I agree. I, I totally agree. And that goes the same thing. Like if you're doing a business and you're doing ads, putting out ads on Facebook, like make it fun. Make it lively. Make it to where people actually want to click onto it. It's enough of us just seeing pictures of items because you can keep scrolling. But make, you know, people want to click into the post and want to see even more about your or go to your links, go to your websites and things like that. So I think that's it, guys. Brand yourself. Yes. And brand yourself wisely. <laughs> <laughs> Later. Later.